Volkswagen reinvents themselves. Yeah, when you look at the design, you can tell. It's the third new chapter of Volkswagen. After the Beetle and the Golf, now it's emission-free mobility. So cars are more human. They become more human, important for Volkswagen. So I've, I've never really seen the car that actually winks at me. In the morning, you go to your car with your purse. I have got one. I have got one. With the key way at the bottom of the purse, but the car notices that you're coming, so it opens the eyes and it looks at you. Also in the other direction. So every morning the car says, okay, let's take off, I'm fully charged. Fascinating. So what's special about it for you? What's the special thing about the ID3 for you. I love revolution and there is so much revolution in there. It doesn't just look great, but look at this. It's it's as compact as a golf and it's like an app when you drive it. And the interior is like the middle segment car and the punch of a GTI. Online everything, all the time online, easy to operate. And it's going to be CO2 neutral when it's delivered to the customer. The ID3, this is it. It's not just possible to drive without emissions, it's really a lot of fun, and it's even better. The ID3 is only the beginning, there's going to be a whole family. We've seen quite a few already. For many, e-mobility is something very special, very interesting, fascinating. But others say, well, range is something that I'm not so happy about. What about that? That's why we developed the purely electric uh, modular toolkit at the beginning, four years ago. We said, okay, range, that's something that we need, otherwise there's going to be no uh, breakthrough. That's why we got the nice wheelbase. Now, the biggest battery will fit in there. That's how we developed the platform. It's fit for the future, no, no matter what happens with cell technology. It's all in there. Now, great range is not the best price per kilometer. So in the past four years at Volkswagen, that's what you looked at. This is the first results. But of course, you also looked at all kinds of other things. Charging as well. What about charging then? Well, first of all, we've got bigger ranges. So there's less of a problem with charging the batteries. So customers can actually have pure Pro and Pro S ranges. Pro S, 550 kilometers range for long distance drivers. And the others, 430 and 330. That's what people can pick from. And when you have a Pro, for example, or a Pro S, well, you just charge it once every one or two weeks, because usually you drive something like 50 kilometers a day, and they can also do quick charging. Ionity, 100 kilowatts, and it just takes half an hour for 300 extra kilometers. That's it, because now I just go to the petrol station. So where will you charge in future? How is it going to work? You try it. It just happens on the side. Perfect for you. You've got your own home. So when you sleep, it does charge. Or when you go shopping, whatever you do, you just use any socket for charging it. And that's why everybody's going to use it. It can be charged anywhere. And we developed an ID charger, which is the Volkswagen Warbox, which is a bit faster. Half price uh, of what you get from others. And when you live in a city, you've got quick charging and with the big ranges once or every two weeks or every week, okay. Suitability for everyday use, that's important, okay, we talked about it. But what about pleasure of driving, because I love cars. Yeah, you're the same. Volkswagen, you were also responsible for the GTI there. Okay, fun and pleasure of driving. Okay, don't you worry, you know about technology? Okay, I'll tell you with the electro car, electric cars like this. They've got a great torque right from the very beginning, good punch, but this also is rear axle or rear wheel drive. 310 Newton meters on the road right away, one step here. So you've got a GTI when you're at the traffic light, it's really fun. You've got the low center of gravity because of the battery, great distribution, optimum distribution of weight, and our chassis engineers enjoy that, the test uh, track. Sound new. Yes, new and different. And of course, an electric car needs to be quiet. So when you're in a street coffee shop and a car, an ID passes you, you think, oh, was that a uh, car? And when you press the play pedal, that's how we call it, and things start to happen. Star Wars and Millennium Falcon, we 
Mix that in. Okay, let's take a look inside. Why not? And when looking inside, Charles Bischoff showed us the first pictures already. It's like my smartphone, a bit. Yeah, not so many keys or push buttons. You don't need it. So quite a few things have been abolished. We just focused on what you really need. Operating it is completely different. ID, intuitive device. There are lots of other uh, meanings as well, but that's one. So I can put my purse into the center console because we clean it up. And you start the car differently. It's different from a normal car, conventional one. Yeah, you get in. You take the lever right next to the steering wheel, uh, push it forward, press play, and off you go. High tech? It sounds simple and high tech. Right, but there's something else just for you. Listen. The head up. Uh, display. So it's like uh, it's augmented reality, you can say. You actually look at the road ahead of you and you see all the important uh, information right where it's necessary. We think that this is going to be the future and we anticipate that as Volkswagen always do. Mit der Neuausrichtung der Gläsern und Manufaktur hin zum Home of ID schaffen wir wirklich für die Marke Volkswagen ein unverwechselbares Profil. Wir haben das Thema Automobilfertigung, Auslieferung, Forschung und Entwicklung und Event Location. Das alles unter einem Dach. Natürlich bleibt die Fertigung nach wie vor das Herzstück. Wir haben zukunftssicher investiert in neue Anlagen, die es jetzt sauber im Hochlauf zu verproben gilt und verschieben gleichzeitig den Fokus etwas stärker noch auf Richtung Auslieferung und Forschung und Entwicklung. Und mit diesem unverwechselbaren Mix sind wir zukunftssicher aufgestellt. Darauf freuen wir uns. Wir haben ein neues Auto und eine neue Plattform. Das heißt, wir starten jetzt mit kleinerer Stückzahl und gehen dann sukzessive hoch auf 35 Fahrzeuge am Tag. Wir haben uns hier vorgenommen, um den Mai die sogenannte Kammlinie zu erreichen. Das heißt, die 35 Fahrzeuge dann auch zu erreichen. Das ist aus meiner Sicht eine übliche Zeitleiste, um Serienanlagen zu verproben, in den Produktionsprozess zu integrieren und gegebenenfalls auch nochmal Prozesse nachzuschärfen. Die Fertigung ist und bleibt die zentrale Säule bei uns hier in der Gläsermanufaktur. Wir starten erstmal einschichtig mit 35 Fahrzeugen Kapazität pro Arbeitstag. Damit gehen wir, haben wir die Chance, einfach die Prozesse einzuspielen, gegebenenfalls um Anpassungen vorzunehmen und so weiter. So sind wir auch sehr erfolgreich beim E-Golf gestartet. Natürlich verschiebt sich auch das Gewicht von der Fertigung sukzessive auch Richtung ähm, Auslieferung beispielsweise oder auch Forschung und Entwicklungsaktivitäten. Wir haben uns 2017 als erster Standort in Richtung Elektromobilität transformiert. Für uns als Betriebsrat war und ist es sehr wichtig, weiterhin hier am Standort Dresden die Beschäftigung zu sichern.